Dear friends, today we have a special episode of Super Tony's Adventures. Enjoy! Today, Tony and I have decided to share with you some useful life hacks that will help you survive in a dangerous and unpredictable place known as school. Let's go! The very first and most important rule is never revealing that you have a full pack of gum. If you do, you will have to share it with your classmates right away. But you don't want everyone to think you're greedy, so always keep a pack with one or two pieces of gum with you. Take one for you, give one to your best mate, and the rest of the class will have to accept you don't have any more gum. Now, let's talk about studying. Before you start writing notes in your new notebook, leave a couple of blank pages at the beginning. Later, you can make a small table of contents there, which will help you prepare for your exams faster. By the way, the last pages are also very important. After each lesson, write out new formulas and rules there, if there are any. Later, when preparing for the test, you can quickly find them. Oh, Tony, why did you crumple that sheet? It's actually your working contract. According to it, you will appear on our videos for another 20 years, making our subscribers happy. But don't worry, there's a way to straighten out an important document. Just put it in the printer and print a blank document. It won't print anything, but it will run the sheet through itself, smoothing it out. Wow, what a complicated formula. That's easy, Tony. Just take your smartphone and download Photomath. Now point the camera at the math problem and you'll get the solution. But friends, be careful with these apps. Use them to better understand how to solve a math problem, not to cheat without even trying to think on your own. Otherwise, you'll just forget how to learn new things and won't be able to solve anything at the exam. And finally, today's last life hack. You got an F in a test? Oh, no problem. Just take a nail polish remover, soak a cotton swab in it, apply it to your F and wait for a few minutes. Then turn the swab and use the dry end to gently wipe off the bad grade. Just try not to get too excited or you will make a hole in the sheet. You should probably practice first. Today, we have a very useful video for all our subscribers. We are gonna share some awesome life hacks for your smartphone, because everyone has one, right? Let's begin with a tip for game lovers. This trick will help you set cooler records. So, if you like to play offline games, then change the date on your phone to several years later. Open your game and you'll have a lot of resources that have piled up over the years. Then, you can change the date back and, supposedly, your rewards will still be there. Give it a try and tell us in the comments if it worked. Now a trick to clean your screen and make it seem like new. To get rid of all the fingerprints on your screen, clean it with a cotton swab soaked in hydrogen peroxide. This will get rid of fingerprints and other stains, and it will protect your phone from getting dirty for some time. If you need to get rid of a scratch, you can use toothpaste. Again, spread a small amount of toothpaste on the screen and then use a wet cloth to remove it. You can also clean your screen using shaving cream to make it more reflecting. This way, you can use it as a mirror. But don't forget to be careful while cleaning your phone and don't let any moisture get under the buttons, inside the speaker, or inside your phone. Now another important and useful life hack. Every day, many people lose their phones and can only hope they will somehow come back or be returned. At the same time, we all protect our phones with different passwords to keep our information safe. Now, imagine that Tony finds a phone and wants to return it to its rightful owner, but he doesn't know how. Here's an idea. Put the number of your mother, your father, or someone you trust as your iPhone wallpaper with a caption asking to call them and return the phone in case it has been lost. There are many good people ready to do the right thing, but they don't always know how. So, help them, believe in them, and everything will be all right. Finally, let's make a stand for your phone using a bottle with water and a rubber band. This is a very easy but very useful oh. DIY project. Fasten your phone like this and your homemade stand is ready. You can take a selfie or record an awesome video. Tony, fresh air is always good. But out in the open, you can find dangerous and sometimes poisonous snakes. See, told ya. First of all, Tony, don't panic. You should remain calm, so your heart won't beat harder and your blood won't spread the venom faster. If you can, try taking a picture of the snake. 
so that the doctors can give you the right antidote. And of course, call an ambulance. The faster you get help, the bigger your chances of survival. While we wait for the paramedics, sit and keep the area of the bite below the heart. Tend the wound with antiseptic and put a dry bandage on it, but not too tight, because the bite can swell and the bandage can hurt the skin. Apart from that, you should write the time of the accident and your symptoms. So, even if you pass out before getting help, the doctors will have all the information to save your life. Overall, these are the basic rules to survive a snake bite. But you know, Tony, the best way to protect yourself is being cautious. To avoid getting bit by a snake, you should be careful where you walk and avoid places where you can easily find snakes. Check tall grass with a stick before entering. This might scare the snake away or force it to bite the stick first. Once it had attacked, the snake will go away because you are bigger than it and it is probably scared of you as well. Remember that snakes attack humans not because they are predators, but only to protect themselves. Wait, Tony, don't do that. You're like a baby trying to put everything in your mouth. I know that people in films usually suck the poison from the wound, but research has shown that this method isn't effective. It only allows you to remove 2% of the poison. Moreover, the poison can get to your blood even faster through the buccal cavity. You also shouldn't cut the wound to supposedly let the blood with the poison get out. And last but not least, you shouldn't apply a tourniquet to stop the poison from spreading. It isn't effective and can significantly increase the chance of gangrene. This usually ends with the victim losing its limb. The ambulance is here. Don't worry, dear friends, Tony will be okay. Tony and I noticed that summer is coming to an end and we haven't shared any summer life hacks with you. But as they say, better late than never. First, some cold water. If you are going for a long hike, the night before, you can pour one third of water in a bottle and put it in the freezer for the night. By morning, the water will have turned into ice. Now fill the rest of the bottle with water and take it with you. The ice will melt slowly, so you will have cold water throughout the day. Instead of water, you can use any kind of beverage, but remember that water is the best option for when you are thirsty. Now, sometimes we buy ice cream and want to eat it at home, but when we get there, it is already melted. Here's the trick to avoid that. Take the ice cream, place it inside a bag with no holes and wrap it tight, but leaving lots of air inside. Now take another bag and do the same thing. Now you have your own portable thermos. It will help your ice cream last a little longer than usual. By the way, here's another useful life hack. Let's say that you bought a bottle of some drink, which was on the shelf and not in the fridge. But now you're home and you want a cold drink. So take a paper towel or a thin cloth, wet it with water and wrap it around the bottle. Now place it in the freezer. You won't believe it, but in just five to 10 minutes, the beverage inside the bottle will be cold. In the summer, we all love barbecues with friends and family, right, Tony? The problem is no one wants to clean the grill, but here's a life hack for such situations. Simply wrap the grill with a newspaper, wet it with water, and leave it for the night. In the morning, simply remove the newspaper and rinse the grill. So what else could I tell you? Right. If you are stung by a mosquito and you don't have any balm or lotion around, then simply heat a spoon and place it right on the bite. The pain and itchiness will go away. By the way, you could also treat it with baking soda, vinegar, or toothpaste. Tony, let's go outside. It's time for a brand new experiment. You are gonna be stung by different insects, and I'll tell you how you should act in each case. Aren't you excited? Oh, come on. At least our subscribers will find it interesting and very useful. We'll start with a bee. In case you didn't know, Wasps, hornets, and bees only attack to defend themselves. But if you have been stung, the poison will quickly enter your body. By the way, it's one of the strongest allergens in the world. It will make your skin turn red and swell. The first thing you should do is carefully remove the sting, if it's still there. Then treat the wound with calendula tincture, hydrogen peroxide, or other alcohol-based fluid. You can use ice to relieve the swelling and you should take an antihistamine to prevent an allergic reaction. However, if you have been stung in the mouth or the head, you will need serious help as quick as possible. First, you need to get first aid, and then you need to see a doctor immediately, because bee stings can cause suffocation. 
Well, actually, you should always resort to qualified help if you start experiencing severe swelling, rash, swelling of the face, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, or chest pain. Let's move on. The next creature on our list is the tick. If you get bitten by this little vampire, you can get up to five infections, the worst being tick-borne encephalitis and Lyme disease. The problem is that a tick bite is quite difficult to detect, as it injects an anesthetic along with its saliva. However, if you find the insect somewhere on your body, you should carefully remove it with tweezers. This should be done by rotating, while trying not to squeeze the tick, so that the infected substance does not get into the wound. If it is not possible to remove it along with the head, you should quickly remove it with a needle treated with alcohol and heat. Once it's done, you should treat the wound, place the tick in a container, and take it to a laboratory for analysis. Only by examining the insect will doctors be able to determine whether it was infected or not. This way, they will be able to find the most appropriate treatment for you. Folks, we wish you never to experience any of these dangerous bites and stings. But if it happens to you, be sure to follow the instructions above. It could save your life or that of your loved ones. So, tell us in the comments below. Have you ever been bitten or stung by any insects? How did you feel and what did you do? The best stories will be featured in the next video. See you soon in a new educational and interesting episode of Super Tony. Bye-bye!